Today we are at Madipakam. This is an individual bungalow where they are facing high hard water problem, iron problem as well as sewage contamination water. So let's go to the terrace. This is the terrace and where we have installed our full systems, iron removal plant with water softener plant. Before that chlorine dosing system has been done. So the first three cylinders in that two cylinders is for iron plant and third one is for water softener plant. Let's see in step by step. What we have done is whatever the water which is going to the overhead tank is being collected in the aeration tank. Before passing to the aeration tank, what the usually in market they'll do is they just pour the chlorine inside the tank so that the chlorine will stuck into the same place in that uh, water. So that what we have done is we have dosed, made this chlorine to dose into the water which is going and stored in the aeration tank. This is how the dosing will be happen. So after this, the water will be goes and stored so that the each and every drop of water will be uh, assured as a chlorinated water and it will be stored in the aeration tank. See, this is the line which is going to the aeration tank and we can adjust this chlorine dosing system. The frequency will be, uh, frequency can be adjusted in this uh, dosing pump so that based on your water's contamination, you can adjust the frequency, how frequently you want to dose the chlorine inside the water. So this is the chlorinated water. You just pour the pour uh, 40, 75 percentage of the drum with the water and pour two uh, two liters of chlorine in it. So it will be consumed for a month. So after this chlorination system is passed, the water will directly goes and stored in the aeration tank. We have run this line like this, and this is the aeration tank. Water will be aerated like this and uh, settled down. After this settlement process, the iron will be stayed in the bottom level of the tank. From the bottom level, we have taken half feet above, we have taken the line half feet above the ground level and we have passed that line to the half HP motor. This half HP motor acts as the filter feed pump from where the water is going to the three filtration system. Before that, we have installed the inlet pressure line, pressure gauge system, which is a SS pressure gauge with a glycerin filled inside it. So this will show the reading accurately and this first two system is the iron removal plant system and third one is water softener plant system. See first two systems will be has the process called backwash and rinse mode where the drain all the waste of the iron will be removed and second process also same backwash rinse is there and after that uh, the process is called water softener so in this you have to do the regeneration process manually and after that the outlet to check the outlet pressure we have installed a pressure gauge and from there the water will be passed to the overhead tank to the existing line this is the brain solution drum where the, you have to put the rock salt and do the regeneration process for water softener plant so from after the, all this process the water is getting connected to the overhead, existing overhead tank line and the water is going to the overhead tank the customer is using this overhead tank water which is free of iron, water hardness and uh, all the biological contamination is killed. The customer is very happy, the customer is very satisfied.